Stair rails are for looks and safety, and whether it's time to replace your current railing or you just want to change up the look, it's something you can do on your own. So stick around for this episode of Around the House and we'll show you how. Today we're here with Scott Ferroni from Colonial Elegance. Now Scott, how easy is it to put in your own railing? It's very simple, Jay. Today we're gonna show you very simple steps from Colonial Elegance, how to install a beautiful elegant staircase in your home. Start by counting the number of steps you have in your staircase. For most residential staircases, count each step as one foot, then add an extra foot to figure out how long of a railing you'll need. For example, for 12 steps, you should purchase at least 13 feet of railing. You'll need a newel post at the bottom, another newel post for each turn or landing, and a half newel where it meets the wall. You'll need one short baluster for the front of the step, and one long baluster for the rear of the step. Also measure the distance of any straight sections. If the old stair treads are worn, now is a good time to replace them. Colonial Elegance offers a wide selection of replacement stair treads and risers. First drill pilot holes in the half newel. We're using 3 inch construction screws to anchor it to the wall studs. The bottom screw is covered with a plug, the top screw is hidden by the handrail. The height of the handrail depends on the height of the balusters. For 36 inch balusters, the center of the handrail should be positioned 35 and a half inches above the floor. For 39 and a half inch balusters, the center of the handrail should be at 39 inches. It may be necessary to trim a few inches off the bottom of the half newel and newel posts so the handrail is positioned approximately in the center of the flat section as seen here. For this installation, we trim five and a half inches from the bottom of the newels. To find the location of the bottom newel, we take the width of the newel, in this case three inches, add half the width, another inch and a half, to give us a total of four and a half inches. Measure four and a half inches from the front of the step and the same amount from the side. This is where the center of the post will be. Now drill a pilot hole. A double-ended lag bolt is screwed into the bottom of the newel and then into the stair. Make sure the post is level. Then lay the handrail section on the treads of the stairs and mark both ends at the correct angle to meet the posts. Carefully cut the handrail at this angle. Next three quarter inch holes are drilled in each stair tread to receive the balusters for this particular installation, each hole is drilled 3 and 1 inch from the front and back edges of the step to give us a 4 inch space between each baluster. The holes are set back so they're centered with the bottom newel post. Check your local building codes to make sure the spacing between the balusters meets requirements. Then attach the handrail to the bottom newel post. For 36 inch balusters, measure up 31 and 3 quarter inches from the stair to the bottom of the handrail. For 39 and a half inch balusters, measure up 35 and a quarter inches. Attach the handrail to the bottom newel with a rail fastener. Drill a pilot hole in the newel post at the same angle as the handrail. Install the bolt. Then in the handrail, drill a pilot hole for the bolt and a larger hole for the nut. Apply glue and slide the rail onto the bolt and tighten the nut. Attach the handrail at the top with finishing nails. Next, insert the baluster into the hole in the step and following the bottom edge of the handrail, mark the angle where you will cut the top of the baluster. Cut each baluster a sixteenth of an inch longer so it fits into the groove cut into the bottom of the handrail. Cut all the balusters to the proper length. Before installing, check for level, then glue and nail into place. Finally, the fillet pieces which fit under the handrail between each baluster are cut and secured into place. For straight sections of railing, cut the handrail to the correct length, install the bolts into the newels, set the balusters into place, and install the handrail. Clean up any excess glue. The railing should be allowed to set for 24 hours for the glue to dry. Find all the materials you need for this and other projects at your nearest Menards. And for other do-it-yourself projects, check out Around the House at Menards.com.